Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Jay the Gamer here. Welcome back to our stream. Today we're playing some more Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 here. Today, everybody, I've got a treat for you guys. I've got the Tupolev 2154 here. This is one sick plane, not gonna lie. So, this is probably one of my favorite planes of all time. I did a flight in this yesterday to uh, Melbourne from Sydney with Rep Plays in this plane. Pretty cool plane this is. These were actually flying in Russia up until October of 2020. Today we have the Siberia Airlines livery that I like a lot. Now I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a history on this plane. Um, Alright, so the Tupolev 254 is a tri-jet medium range narrow body airliner designed in the mid 60s by Tupolev. The cruise speed is 528 miles per hour and the top speed is 590 miles per hour. These planes are manufactured from 1968 until 2013, so wow, 45 years they built these planes, wow. It's kind of unfortunate they don't fly anywhere anymore, though. They only fly in North Korea now for Air Corio, which is um, unfortunate. We are today in Irkutsk, Russia. We are going to take this plane on a short little bush flight because uh, the Russian planes, the Soviet planes, were built to, you know, handle rugged terrain. So let's, I'm going to put this plane to the test and let's see what it can do. So, alright, I need to turn off my park brake. Alright, we are ready to roll, so let's give her the beans. The cockpit here does not work, unfortunately. Pretty sure there's a file that I can get, though, that will fix this. Alright, gets up to speed okay. It's not the quickest plane, but not the slowest either. Rotate. That was a nice rotation. Put my gear up. Put my flaps up. I don't need my flaps no more. Beautiful Irkutsk. I'm going to do a little loop over Irkutsk here, and then we're going to get on our flight path. Are too long. So, up here is the cockpit pretty much. Very Soviet type cockpit. Oh, we are a bit low. Not bad at all. Not a bad plane at all, not gonna lie. Flying over the beautiful Irkutsk here in Siberia. So we're gonna do a little bush flight in this plane as well. Pretty good plane, not gonna lie. Now to get onto our flight path. What is our heading? Okay, the heading is 11 degrees. Okay, yeah, we need to turn around quite a bit.
pretty good plane this is. I'm going to do another flight in this. I flew this yesterday with Brett Plays from Sydney to Melbourne. I'm going to post a link right here in the up right hand corner. I recommend you guys go check that stream out. That was a pretty good stream. All right, I'm flying along here. Uh, okay, we are almost at our heading. Yeah, we are flying parallel to our heading, and that is our destination there. Should the flight should only take about a few minutes. Ooh, we are dropping some altitude here. We've got some nice speed though. We're doing about 500 miles per hour here. All right. Cruising along. Okay, my co-pilot's already contacting the traffic there. It's just a dirt strip we're landing at, so there shouldn't really be much traffic down there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, I should probably start slowing down and begin my descent. That was a pretty short flight, though, I'm not going to lie. Assuming that's Irkutsk back there. I can't even see it no more. I knew someone from Irkutsk. Oh, there, there's our, there's the airstrip. Yeah, we're not going to make it on this attempt. Coming in way too fast. So we're going to have to circle a little bit. Okay, landing gear is coming on out. Coming on in here. Now I'm going to try and do a sharp turn and make that airfield. I don't think I will be able to. Also, many Soviet planes, they supposedly, everyone says they're unsafe, but that's not that they're unsafe, it's just the conditions they operate in are unsafe because they operate in extreme terrain like this. You wouldn't normally land an airliner at a thousand foot at a thousand foot dirt field because this is like a commercial airliner here. Oh wow, well, we got thrown up there a bit. Okay, we we should be able to make the runway on this attempt. Doing a short little bush flight. Okay. Kind of nervous here. Can't really see the runway because it's all snowy, but. Okay, and now touchdown here. That was smooth. Oh, that was actually not. That was bound. That was a bounce. All right, those reverse thrusters really helped me stop. Anyways, this is a... Why is there some sort of building there? That's weird. Anyways, this is a pretty good airplane. Okay, there, I have my reverse thrusters on. There's no animation for the reverse thrusters, unfortunately. But this is a pretty good plane, so I would strongly recommend downloading it and converting it into Flight Sim 2020. It's a good plane in-game and in real life. Um... Not a bad plane at all. It's a very good showcase. Parked on the grass here. Alright, I'm going to power her down. Sounds pretty good. So, interior does need some work, though, I'm not going to lie, but this is a pretty good plane. I strongly recommend downloading it. But, anyways, I guess that wraps up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And please, please do subscribe if you guys want more videos like these. And have a good day.